Bichat from this Commerce Community and today we have a very special guest speaker. Uh, I have Jason Lamuda here, he's the, the founder of CEO at Berbeka. Hello again. Hi, hi friends, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> So, hi everyone, my name is Jason. I'm the co founder of Very Big which is a fashion, omni channel fashion trend. We, right now we have uh, 25 online stores, but we also sell online. Uh, we focus on selling fast fashion products and also modern fashion. I think we are proud that Birbing has grown quite a lot in the past few years. We started as a fashion e-commerce company, then we are one of the first brands that actually expanded to the offline stores. Also, we are one of the pioneers in the e-commerce channel player, not just in Indonesia but across Southeast Asia. Oh, we have many horrifying moments in Europe. There are so many up and down running a startup. But I would say one of the most horrifying moments is not being able to pay your employee salary. Yeah. So um, I think in startup, we always have to learn how to manage our cash flow really well. But luckily, we managed to pull it off at the last minute. Uh, shareholder and the company managed to do it well. Having the pressure of not being able to pay your employee uh, you know, in, in two weeks time actually is a very scary thing. And you know we have experience in our warehouse being flooded. So I think unexpected um, things that have to do with nature is also it's quite scary. I see you. I think in every business we need to understand who our customers are and what are they looking for. Yeah. So for example, in our case, you know, we sell fashion clothes to women and we need to understand what they are looking for, what the styles they like, what is the price point they would like to buy our products and another, another company, a B2B company needs to understand that client, what is their problem and how does um, your startup overcome or solve the problem. If you want the startup to be successful, then you really have to solve the problem or the needs of clients or your customers and friends. For example, in our online page, before we open the store in the mall, we want to understand whether our products actually fit to the target market, the consumers that visit the mall. Because if our products are, let's say, 150, 200,000, why would we open in a mall that's too high end? Because it may not fit because they are looking for more premium items. I think we need to understand you know, the behavior of the customers, even online or offline, what we get, and then pick the right solution to or sell the right products. Okay, so yeah, very big is doing well, very, very profitable. I suggest we look at it from a point of view that if you were to have this additional capital, what would you use it for? And how would that grow your business? Are you going to use it to grow your technology team? Are you using the money to acquire new customers? Or are you using the money to grow um, other aspects such as team or warehouse? Or service? Because if you don't have a right or the proper and detailed plan of how you're going to use the money, essentially, you may be able to you may be able to find a successful thing, but you're just gonna lose the money away. I think number one is uh, the biggest asset that any startup has is actually their people. I think a lot of maybe new entrepreneurs they hire from or maybe they don't hire enough or they hire too many. Because if you hire somebody wrongly, then you can waste time. Time is money. Having the right strategy and hiring the right people makes or break a, can make or break a company. Yeah, yeah. So very important. There are a couple of points. Number one is is your product market fit there? Right. So if the product is selling or the product or the service you are selling to customers, uh, is there a demand? Or Number two is, is the overall business model. Does it make sense? Or uh, is your is the lifetime value bigger than your customer acquisition cost? Because if not, then 
your business is uh, it's a negative right? you are fighting customer but you're losing money right. you will never be back right. like this, but your lifetime value is you will always be bigger than customer acquisition this is about very and I will see you in the next session